I was a showgirl dancer at the Apollo. I was 17 years old when I went in there with Norma Miller and Frankie Manning. But at the age of about five, I saw Shirley Temple tap dancing with Bill Robinson. And I said, wow, I want to be another Shirley Temple. I will be a tan Shirley Temple. To stand behind those curtains, orchestra lit up, you could feel the whole volume coming from the bottom of your feet up to your body and to the top of your head. It was like I would thought I was in heaven. I came up in an era where women were glamorous. You'll never see me in jeans. I don't like to be in a uniform where everybody else is wearing the same thing. And this outfit that I have on is from, the material is from Nigeria. And the story is that a young lady came from Nigeria to my church and she sold me the material 20 years ago. I took it to some Africans that I know from Mali and I had this outfit made. I prefer vintage. I love long dresses. I dye my hair black. You know, I had mixed gray hair when I was, since I was three years old. I am 83 years old. I am not a young girl. I don't want to be just another pretty face. I think I'm more comfortable as I got older because I'm more experienced in life. I studied for two and a half years with a Russian ballet teacher. And he said, your dance is very nice, but it's not authentic. So I said, what do you mean? He said, we're opening a new school around the corner from the Americana Hotel. And lo and behold, it was the first belly dancing school in New York City called Stairway to Stardom. And I just loved the music, the costumes, the dancing. So he said, we're gonna open the school and you're invited to come, you know, take classes. Well, when I showed up, nobody else showed up but me. So I was the first student of the first belly dancing school in New York City. I feel the most sexy when I'm dancing. I've had some women, older women, up at the Jazz Museum told me the last time I was there, you are such an inspiration to us. Now that meant a lot to me. These women are up in their 80s and 70s. So what I want to say is this, I want to be an inspiration to older women and to younger women, to older women to know that there is life after 50, and to younger women to get a career. Go ahead and concentrate on yourself before you fall in love. <laughs>